Alrighty everyone, this is just going to be a quick tutorial on Streamlabs OBS and using NDI to send a signal to your stream PC over the network without using an expensive capture card. Now, there's a couple of things you need to do to make this work. It's actually quite a simple setup. So new tech NDI um, the developers of NDI have just brought out this new kit, um, NDI tools kit, download now. So basically this is a feed from my gaming PC now. Um, once you have downloaded the new tech NDI tools, you will be go you can go ahead and you'll be prompted to install um, one component called NewTek NDI Scan Converter. Once you've installed um, NewTek NDI Scan Converter on your gaming PC, um, it's really minimalistic. There's actually no full UI. Once you've opened it, it will sit um, in your taskbar happily. Um, if you click on it in your taskbar, you have all these little options. So I am running uh, 60p, 60 frames per second in the capture settings. Um, region of interest, you can basically select a, a portion of your screen to send over if you wanted like a little window or not, not a lot of use for what we're wanting to do. Uh, mouse pointer for tutorials like this. Very handy to have on so people can see where you're clicking. Um, I generally actually turn it off. I notice just moving it around. I've got a um, I've got a 165 hertz refresh rate monitor, and I notice it just adds a little bit of um, I don't know, a little bit of jerkiness to it that I prefer it with it off. Um, but yeah. Completely up to you whether or not you want to show um, the mouse pointer. So this is actually being fed via NDI currently to the stream PC. Um, so then we want to go down to audio source. So this, um, if you want to send your game audio, if you're running uh, Discord or some other TeamSpeak or something on your gaming PC, and you want it to be fed um, to Streamlabs OBS on your streaming PC. Um, you would want to just click the default system audio. This is the way I have it set up. So, webcam video source I have on none and obviously no audio source either. So with, um, with my webcam and my microphone, my USB mic, I have them both plugged directly into the streaming PC. So I don't need to send either of those feeds through the gaming PC to the stream PC is plugged directly in. Now, if I click down here, actually not just yet. So um, this is the support Streamlabs uh, help page. If you search Streamlabs, OBS, and NDI, this will be your first result now. So there is actually a few different methods. Um, the one thing you have to do is install NewTek NDI SDK3. They will provide you with a link to it. So it says to get started with NDI and sources, you'll need to have the NDI SDK3 installed on the computer, which you want to use Streamlabs OBS to receive an NDI stream. Now Streamlabs OBS is still in beta. They have um, they have made it NDI. They have made it work with NDI. However, it can only receive a signal. It cannot send a signal. But since NewTek NDI have come out with this scan converter anyway, I think that's far superior. You don't have to needlessly have a copy of OBS open on your gaming PC whatsoever. So I've gone ahead and installed the new tech um, NDI SDK package on the streaming PC. So when I click in, now this just gives you a little thing. So um, 
it will it will show up as a source. So I'm gonna go and show you. I'm gonna flick over. Hide the display capture from my gaming PC. Now this is the desktop on um my streaming PC. I've got a Ryzen 1700, R7 1700 clocked at 3.8 gigahertz with the stock bar. Alrighty, now if I go down here, you can see my list of sources. Um, so right down the bottom, I have gaming PC NDI, which is what I have called it. Um, so you can see, yeah. That was the feed we were having before. Sorry, I just confused myself there. So that was the feed we were having before. It comes through, no worries. Um, then you can see over here in the mixer, so we've got the gaming PC NDI because we selected that um, that default speaker option on the gaming PC. When Once I've added this source here, it will actually pull all the audio that's coming through the gaming PC as well. So if I go to sources, once you've installed the package um, that they link to on that site, just restart the PC and then it will show up down here um, in the standard as an NDI source. Click on add source, you can name it whatever you like if you'd like to create a new one. However, I have the existing one, so I could just add the existing source. So let's call this test from keyboard. Let's call this test NDI, just so I can show you what's actually on the next page here. Um, add new source. So it's come up here, it's come up with the name of my PC, Slinky, and it's got in brackets my graphics card, uh, bandwidth I just leave on highest, and sync I've just left that on internal. I literally have not changed anything, and I click done, and that is all. It will pull whatever my display, uh, graphics card is outputting on my gaming PC, it will pull that along with the audio. So. There you go, it is that simple. It just it just works. I'm actually blown away with how well it works. Just how well it works. So I'm gonna go ahead. Oh there you go. You can see sort of the two. So this one here is the um the desktop on my streaming PC, and that is the new NDI feed from my gaming PC back on the website here. Um the only thing is you will use about 150 meg per second of network usage if you go ahead and look at what your ethernet adapter is actually doing so you definitely need um, a gigabyte connection gigabit connection to your other computer um, i wouldn't suggest running this on wi-fi it's probably not consistent enough and you, you're likely to not have a as good an experience or have as good an image quality. Um, yeah, I would definitely run this on a wide gigabit connection. But apart from that, it's been great. No extra resources on the gaming PC. I can offload everything. Um, yeah, the only real issue I've run into is trying to split my mic across the two feeds because I have my webcam and microphone plugged into the streaming PC and I still use Discord on my gaming PC just because I'm so used to that push to talk. Whereas I have an open mic to my stream, but I've got push to talk for voice comms. Um, yeah, so I've actually just got a second, second mod mic that I use for um, voice communications now until I work out a better way to, to properly feed that um, USB microphone to my gaming PC without any delay. But yeah, that's all. It is as uh, simple as that. The only other thing you might need to know is if you've got different scenes, obviously um, you need to 
you need to add the NDI feed to all of your scenes here. Um, I got caught out after I set this up. I didn't realize because I didn't need the video on my um, on my full cam, my full screen webcam scene. scene. Yeah, so I didn't need the video on my full screen webcam scene. However, because I didn't add the video from the NDI stream, I also had no audio. So I was talking to myself for a substantial amount of my stream and I didn't have too many viewers at the time. So no one actually mentioned anything and I didn't realize till I went and looked back just to double check my audio levels. So make sure you add that NDI feed to all of the scenes that you want video and or audio. So I've just gone and, and hidden it, hidden the picture because I obviously don't need the video, but it still needs to be there for that audio. That's it guys, nothing special needs to be run on the streaming PC once, um, once Streamlabs OBS can see the NDI feed, it just works. Cool. Give it a crack. Let me know what you think or if I can be of any assistance. I hope I have been some help here. I'm quite new to all this. Cool. Good luck. See you later.